welcome to another World Cup rewatch, and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by the two-time champion of the world, Adrian Jackpot Lewis. AD, uh, this is the 2012 World Cup. Uh, yep. England played in the 2010 one, but that was Phil and Wadey, and yep. a shock defeat to Spain. So this was the first time that you'd lined up for England in the World Cup. You're back to back world champion at this point. What yep. was it like putting the shirt on and, and playing for the first time in, in the PDC World Cup for England? It's, um, it's quite scary, to be honest. It was nerve-wracking. Obviously, you got Phil in the background giving you giving you loads of abuse and so on. <laughs> but uh, I think that's why it worked so well. I think that's why we're a great team in the end. Um, yeah. you know, obviously, you're not just playing for yourself. Or, you, know, you don't want to let Phil down. You don't want to let the, you know, everybody in England down. And that's how you feel when you, when you put that shirt on. Because that, that's the thing. I know that there's everybody's playing the World Cup. They always say, oh, it, it's tough because you don't want to let your partner down. You don't want to let your country down. It's not just playing for yourself. But the thing is, it, it must be even harder for you because obviously the A, Phil is Phil, the greatest player of all time. And also, he was kind of like the, the guy who brought you into darts and then trained you up and everything. I mean, that must make it even more pressure on you, particularly as world champion going into it. I think, to be honest, I think that's why I dealt with you so well. I mean, when, when I first came into the game, uh, everybody knew I was, you know, kind of under Phil's wing and everything else. So I'd already been thrown at the deep end at that point. So there was nothing else, you know, and I'd, I'd, I'd strive. So there's nothing else for really prove. All I want to do is just win the World Cup. Well, we're going to look back at the final. But, I mean, this tournament, I'd, I'd, I'd be interested to remember how much you remember. Um, you started off, you needed a sudden death leg to beat Canada, Ken McNeil and John Pot. I mean, it, it could have been an early exit there for you. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I can't remember that one too much, to be honest, Tom. Um, no, I can't really remember that one. Well, you'll remember, you'll remember the final because we're going to go and watch it now. But after, the, after Canada, you blasted through to the final. It's you versus uh, Australia. Whitlock, who is arguably the best player in the tournament, and Paul Nicholson, who you know what Nicholson's going to be like on stage, it's going to be intense. <laughs> yeah. what, I mean, at that point as well, when Nicholson was flying high and he was winning titles, you know you're going to be in for a strange game up on stage when you're playing Paul Nicholson, aren't you? Because he had history with Phil by this point as well. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, you know what Paul's like, you know what you can get with him. I mean, don't get me wrong, he was a great player back then as well, you know, when he, when he was playing. And he was um, he's quite a slow player as well, so you couldn't really get into any rhythm. And then, like you say, with, his, uh, with all his, his moves and that, he was doing <laughs> and silly things. He was, uh, no, he was a great character. Well, look, let's get into it. So if we go to the first bit of this, uh, Phil is in action in the opening game, taking on uh, Nicholson. You must be thinking every time Phil goes up there, the, well, that's a point in the bag. But he, he hadn't had it all his own way in this tournament. He'd lost a few singles games. That's right. We've been a short format as well. You didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, I can remember, I think I played with Japan, and I never heard of this bloke, and he beat me. So, <laughs> <laughs> just happens. He can't do anything about it either. It's horrible. Well, Phil takes the, the first match there. Pretty business, like 1 0 up. You must be feeling that, yeah, we've, we're, we're in control here. Um, yeah. But what, what's your thinking here? Because Whitlock, your world champion, double world champion, you're going up against Simon Whitlock, who at that point is an absolute machine. He is right up there in the best sort of three, four players in the world at that point. Yes. Um, well, you, you, I mean, when, you, when, you, when he's won that first game, um, you know, obviously he held the captaincy. He just said to me, you know, one, you one play, first or second, and you let him take the lead. Certainly in a big match like that in the final. Um, so he, he did his job. I thought, right, that's it now. You know, we're cruising. If I can win the next one now, we're well in it. It's four all here, and it is close. It is nip and tuck right the way through. And wow. that is, that's smooth, that 80. I mean, he didn't come away with the, the 180, but that's, that, that's, like, that's a confident 80 Lewis, isn't it? That's right, yeah. And like, like you say, being in the final as well, you, you're already full of confidence because you've got there. So then your aim is, like I said, just, just get up there and, and do your job and win. Try to. <laughs> 98 check out, no celebration at all. Oh, no, there's a little one. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Is it a, any memories coming back at this point, just watching this? Yeah, I mean, like, so it's, it's just you know, it's a fantastic achievement just for representing your country, certainly when there's only two of you as well. It doesn't like a big team, there's two of you, top two players in England at the time as well. Um, yeah, it, 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 it means everything, doesn't it, really? Well, 
98 checkout there, you went even better than that. If you go to the next one, AD, talk yep. us through this. Because once again, Simon Whitlock is breathing down your neck and making <laughs> life very, very hard. Once again, it's tight. It's been two all. It's been four all. It's now five all. And, so, and Simon is just breathing down your neck all the way through this game. This is, this is a proper battle, isn't it, between two of the best players in the world? Oh, I mean, it certainly is, yeah. I mean, you know, you know what you can get with Simon anyway. He's, he's, he's solid, certainly back then as well. He was, he was really solid. And um, he was well known for his big checkouts and everything. Um, so, you, you know, you know, on the, on the 161, you're thinking, right, this has got to go. Because the only 122 is only one travel. So you're thinking, if you know, and luckily enough, it it went in. <laughs> it was. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the ball was about, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, but I'm not sure. Not sure where it was. I like it. I like it. That's you don't see enough bowing in celebrations in these games. Uh, <laughs> so skip on. You've managed to set yourself up here to to win this one, and yeah. to go two 0 up here. Simon can't take the one five four. To go two 0 up. In a race to four, you are you must feel that you've got one hand on the trophy here, haven't you? Definitely, yeah. Like you say, you, you, as soon as you saw, you know, like I say, Phil, Phil the started the, you know, started it, and then you're just thinking to yourself, you know, like I say, just 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 keep nicking points, just keep trying to take as much as you can. Well, uh, two nil. Yeah, I mean, I say no massive celebration here. You don't like, it's still a job to do, but. You're in control of this, aren't you? And you must, like, at this point in your career, Eddie, when you've already won two world titles, you're yes. in a spell, in the middle of a spell, where you're winning a major major title every single year. Like, oh, yeah, you must have felt that everybody, I, I can blast anybody off the board whenever I go up on stage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely, like you say, that's, that's what you're thinking about. You're thinking, you know, I've been in a situation, you know, a fair few times now. Um, and, and, you know, experience just come, you know, just play a big part in finals. Especially when you've won, I think. Yeah. Um, you can take a lot from them. Then. Well, let's skip on to 52 minutes in. Yeah. And fit. Simon Whitlock, once again, is made things so hard. He, you've managed to beat him 7-5. He's taken yeah. Phil to a last leg decider and Phil's annihilated him in this yeah. last leg. 3-0 in a race to four when Phil takes this 84 out. Yeah. It, that looks like Phil thinks this is one now, doesn't it? Oh, well, yeah, I think we were, I mean, we'd have both been thinking exactly the same. Yeah, you think 3-0, first of all. But you saw by his reaction after he hit the 84. You know what I mean? It, it's more or less like that, that's, that's it. Now. Mm. Well, it turns out it wasn't quite it, though, was it? Because... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. from> <laughs> <laughs> so you versus Paul Nicholson... Uh, next bit, this. I mean, it, it, quite early on, you had a chance to get a grip of this game. Hmm. So, is that what he says? Minutes in, here we go. Two one up, chance of a breaker throw. Big twenty. Oh, that's awful, isn't it? it must have been. There must have been Wingate again. Yeah. Even even Phil's giving it that. He's. Yeah. Uh, not impressed, but no. and it's um, it's just silly, isn't it? It's just it's just a silly, silly door. I mean, sometimes it, it happens. Even even you know, whenever whenever you're playing, it, it happens because you're thinking more about the double than the actual single number. You think you know it's an easy part, the, the single number. You shouldn't miss that. Do that blindfolded kind of thing because you're, you're ultimately thinking then right the double, and then when, when you do that, it's just well, it all balls up. <laughs> 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 That's a technical term. Um, we'll skip on to the end of this one because you think this 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 should be sewn up sooner rather than later. But yeah. if you lose this, it's not the end of the world. You've still got a bit of a cushion. But That's it. I mean, it's still it's a still free one, and it's it's you know you think well we still only need one. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just watching. I'm just watching there go for double eighteen, double nine. Right. What was it? Like, what was it like being on stage with Nicholson at this point? Because he is intense. Like, and it gets more intense as this final goes on. But I mean, yeah. there's all sorts going on. Is he talking to himself? He's, he's certainly not shy of a celebration. <laughs> um. 
I mean, that, that's, 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 that's the game he played, though, you know, that's, that's how Paul plays, and, you know, and you, you can't fault him for it, really, you know, it, you, sometimes that's what you need, you need that emotion in you, I think, for, um, and, and it does, well, it just makes you play better sometimes. Sometimes you're going to go against, way against you, but it just, you know, it depends what frame of mind you're in as well. But, you know, he's, he was cool, he's calm, and he's, uh, look at Whitlock in the background. <laughs> Lord, you need. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. We're going to the doubles match here, and mm. it all gets a bit serious because the way the format of this one goes, it's two points for the doubles. So we're going to go to to sudden death here if you can't win this doubles match. And Australia have gone two 0 up. Is when do when does it start getting nervy? Is it probably nervy already by this stage? Yeah, I'd say probably from that point really. So doubles match, you either yeah. win the World Cup alongside Phil Taylor yes. or you go into a sudden death doubles <laughs> leg. Now, doubles format, even even you as a double world champion, you wouldn't have had that much experience playing doubles, would you, I'd imagine? No, I mean, I played a couple of leagues before um, on a Monday night where we used to have like one, one game of doubles, but that, that, was, that was the only experience really I had of that. And it, it's hard because, like I say, I'm, I'm a ribbon player anyway. And then when you've got to wait a couple of turns instead of, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's awful. I mean, it's just, it's busy up there. There are a lot of players up there and they're all like, I mean, it's a weird mix of characters up there. But with Nicholson <laughs> and Whitlock who are complete poles apart, you've obviously got <laughs> Phil striding around like he owns the place. I mean, it, it must be quite <laughs> difficult just to, you know, just to behave like as you normally would and just settle down up there. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on. I think that, that's the, the biggest part. I think you just try and keep your concentration. Um, and like you say, you're thinking more at that point. You know, you don't want to let, let anybody down. So you, every every thought you're throwing, you feel like you're under pressure in them doubles. Well, let's skip on because 1 minute 19, Nicholson's lining up the 170 here. Yeah. <clears throat> And it's the first two. If you notice, I think our turn round went to the water. I think I didn't want to watch the ball. <laughs> I think Phil's told him to go and get his darts out and stop hanging around. <laughs> 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 oh dear. <laughs> you can tell in Phil's face as well, obviously, when he's thrown at 36. He's. Uh, he looks a bit, a bit edgy, doesn't he? Well, that's it. You've been in, you've gone up against Phil countless times and played some incredible games where you're both like averaging well into the hundred and teens. Yeah. And it, 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 te- it very, very rarely do you see Phil Taylor rattled, even when, like you say, you're throwing 115 averages against him. But here, you can tell he is a little bit, can't you? Yeah, well, definitely, like you say, because you, you're not just doing it, you, you don't want to let each other down, and, and you're doing it for the, you know, like I said, for the, for the nation, really. And it, and it is, it, like you say, when you put that shirt on, it, it's, it's, uh, it's do or die kind of thing. <laughs> it's a big old deep breath from you at the back of the stage there. Yes. Well, I know we're in trouble, that's why. <laughs> 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 okay, right, we're going to skip on and see the Aussies force this sudden death leg. So are you are you already thinking, right, we're well, gonna have to go to sudden death here? Like that we're not gonna turn this around. Um I, I think to be honest, I, I can't I can't remember this boss. Um probably deep down I'm just yeah probably thinking yeah you know what I mean this is it. This is where we you know it's it's one leg and, and it's you've got Give everything you've got, really. Even if it meant jumping on Salmon's buck. <laughs> <And he's grabbing. laughs> well, the way he was playing all this World Cup, I thought that was the only thing that was going to stop him. Um, <laughs> it took, like, he was really wanting all the way through. He was. It took four rounds of going for the bullseye to figure out who, uh, who was throwing first in this sudden death leg. <laughs> oh, dear. And I'm not sure I've seen, I've seen a bull celebrate, like a bull up celebrated like you have just there. <laughs> well, it's a massive advantage, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's a massive advantage in one leg. You know, if you... at the back of the stage there, you are pecking massive gulps of air there, Aidy. <laughs> like, that, looks, that looks a stressful experience. 
it's it, it just giving oxygen to your brain, obviously, trying to um, sort of try and make you calm and try to cool you down a bit. Right. Talk us through this final leg, AD. Oh, that, that first start in the treble one. That's a long way off. <laughs> uh, I think I'm a bit behind you, Danny. I'm just oh, very on. Well, I'll tell you. Oh, where oh, oh. What he was there, I thought it was on 90. I was running treble 18. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, like you say, it was just pure pressure there. Um, I can't even blame the wind on that one. That was just an awful throw. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was... I'm just at the point now where Phil's throwing. Is what, third visit? 361 is throwing. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with you now. Right, OK, well... And if, if you want anybody in your corner in this situation, it's Phil Taylor, surely. Oh, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, the experience and his, well, it's just his class, isn't it? On the board, is uh, that's what we needed, definitely. Um, yeah, they were a bit twitchy from uh, Simon, weren't they, there as well? <laughs> are you, at this point, are you aware of the crowd or anything? Because I know we're in Germany here, and German crowds get a lot of, a lot of stick about how they behave. But here, they are absolutely gripped by this. Yeah, I mean, like you say, it was... Um, even to now, to some extent, I don't think they did do that bad. I don't think they're as bad as what some people make out, um, in fairness. You know, they enjoy themselves, which happens over in the UK as well. Um, but, you know, like you say, when it's tense like that, then they know it's tense, and they feel the on the stage. It's just... That's what makes thought, you know, that the game it is. Right, one, three, two. Phil's not gone for the bullseye here. Is that? Do you agree on like certain routes for things in these games, or are you just sort of finding out what you've been left when you yeah, actually get to the hockey? I, I think that was what that we, we talked about that. I mean, before on, you know, what 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 doubles, you know, would would you prefer than than other doubles? So he's probably just tried, you know, obviously gone for the one three two. If he didn't, says he maybe just set me up on double sixteen. Mm. Um, so, unfortunately, he's left you eighty-eight. What's going yeah, through your head here, Oh, another one. Uh, well, just keep him straight by the looks of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, wasn't. Wasn't the best, was it? That. Do you feel like you've dropped the World Cup there? Yeah. They're on fifty-six, and you've not got a dart for the match. Yeah, well, I put my darts in my pockets. I knew it, I'd, we'd uh, we'd knock it up, kind of thing. I thought that was it, then. I really did think that was it. What are you think? Are you already thinking about what you have to say to Phil? Um, no, you didn't even I, look at Nicholson's darts there. No. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, I think if that was Simon throwing at that then, at that point, I think that might have been it, you know, with how he was playing. Maybe it was, he fell to the wrong button then. I don't know because obviously he misses again, doesn't he? Yeah. I you, mean, that was last <laughs> month. That was baby, you and Nicholson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. You can't watch, can you? Oh, dear. You didn't get a shot. Nicholson's missed darts for the title. Phil's missed darts for the title. Surely the player of the tournament's going to pin it. Oof. Oh, that, that was a bad double. That, that was a bad shot at double five. I need. Darts are coming out of the pocket again here, Aidy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deep breath again. <laughs> you just think, you know, I don't miss. <laughs> Smack in the middle. That was the best dart of Rome, I think. <laughs> Certainly what, doing that look like. What's that feeling like? Um, it's brilliant. You know, it's, it's it's fantastic. Like you say, for uh, playing the World Cup for the first time and then and winning it as well. Yeah, it was, it was good. That was great. Every yeah. single player got darts for the title there. That is one of the of, of all the matches that you've been involved in in your career, and you've been involved in some incredible ones. Yeah, that's got to be one of the maddest, hasn't it? I, 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 well, I should think so. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, that, well, it's got to be. It's got to be up there in the top. Well, top couple, as you'd imagine. Yeah. Forget like I say when you when you're going through it, it's but yeah, so you, you don't want to go through it as long as you come out the other end. Well, you know, if, if, as long as you win, it doesn't really matter. But at the time, you're thinking, never again, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And then, I mean, that was your first World Cup. You went on to win it three more times after that. Yeah. Do you think there's been as good a pairing in doubles darts in the PDC as, as you and Phil? Because at times you were unplayable. Yeah, I think with, um, I think with my scoring power most of the time, obviously, apart from that last leg, what we just see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, you know, I think that that's that's and his finishing was normally you know spot on as well. So we always can give ourselves chances, and you always knew that in the back of your mind. If I can, if I can score every, we'll, we'll just keep setting him up, and he'll just keep popping him up. Well, uh, solid game plan. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck as well. You got it that yeah, year. Yeah, we got the shadow. Yeah, we got shadow Adrian Lewis, two-time world champion, former European champion, UK Open champion, and four-time World Cup of Darts winner. Thank you very much, Jack Pot, and thank, thank you very much. much. We'll, we'll, we'll be back together playing against Zuni. Eh? <laughs> All the best. See you, pal. Bye.